Hey, Simon here. And today I would like to talk about how to bake uh, light maps, um, which uh, come from lights from left, right, up and down uh, into one single texture like this, so that you get this colorful thing, which is used for um, in Unreal, for example, to light smoke depending on the light direction and have several different light maps coming from Houdini uh, in one texture uh, in the RGBA channels. And then, yeah, uh, I will not explain the. Um, material you can get the link in the video description it's just how to generate this texture so uh, let's um, start with uh, sparse pyro fx and then i just drop a little uh, smoke here and let it simulate a little bit so that we get a nice uh, column and then we create a camera and go into that camera and whoop, uh, press the little lock here, search a nice angle like this and set the resolution of the camera to some quadratic value. So, okay, that's good. Um, now we need lights. I already prepared some lights in my other scene here. I will just copy them and you will see how they look. Um, boop. If we look at these lights, they are just coming from left up, uh, right and down. And the cool thing is if you select them and you connect them to the camera, they will be aligned um, to the local space of the camera, which is really cool because then uh, from wherever you look, the, uh, the lights will come from the correct direction. So that's already really nice. And now uh, it comes to the rendering. So you just create a mantra node. And now uh, here comes the trick, basically. You go into extra image planes and you uh, add another one and you type in direct. And here you click export variable for each component and then export variable for each light. And this is basically the magic, how to separate that stuff, but we will also composite it together in just a second. Just to show you uh, what we will get out of this. Um, one second, we should see some smoke right now. Uh, yes, and here in the plants, you have all these uh, different uh, channels right now, or how is it called? Yeah, channels, whatever. Uh, and you have one for right, left, down, and up. So we already have the data separated, so this is really nice. Now we have to composite together. One note, if you want to have a custom material, you can of course assign them here in the render node uh, after you created the material, but uh, be sure to uh, disable assign render material here in this node if you want to do this because it can override it. Uh, at least I had sometimes problems with that. Okay, so um, now we have to store this image. Um, I will call it yeah, it, sh it should be okay, actually. Boop. I will store it out. And did you, I <laughs> why isn't it not working? I will test it with test.exr and render it. Um, I'm pretty sure it did not work because uh, the rendering was really short. But let me uh, check uh, my folder here on the side. You can't see it right now, but I'm um, Houdini test uh, in the uh, photo structure. I will check it out. Okay, we have a material and it's empty. That's not good. Ah, okay, no, actually it did work, yeah, it did work. Okay, that's interesting. It was really fast. So, okay, now we should have um, here uh, in um, the, sorry, here image. Uh, there is already a uh, image network. Is it correct? Let me just, yeah. Okay, so uh, image network, and then we create a file. And in here, we select our file, which is the second one here. Okay. And in compositing view, we should see it. Yeah, so that's okay. And in here, we should see all the different channels. Yes, so we have them. So that's that's really cool. Okay, 
So now we have to store them into uh, a texture. And I will have another Houdini here on the side just to sneak into it from time to time because the setup was a little bit, um, yeah, I had to do some stuff. Yeah. But the basic idea is, um, first uh, I like to uh, search a level node and make it a little bit more contrasty here so, so that we have wide values in there. You don't have to do this, but I, I just felt better to push the contrast, uh, contrast a little bit nearer to uh, 0 and 1. And now um, we use a channel copy node Boop. and we copy the channel into the color channel. We copy, for example, left. So let me see, is this, oops, that should be right, yes. And we do that with the other uh, channels as well. So here we copy uh, right, then down and up. Let me check for the last one. Yeah, okay. So, and the problem is that we have to, um, that we have to, put them into the RGB channels now. And here in these nodes, you cannot say, put it into C.R or something. So that's a little bit uh, of a problem. So what I did was I took a level node here, went to, uh, let me double check this, um, went to uh, R for example, and reduced this one. So now we have um, a second and this one as well. So yeah, now we, we uh, have only the blue color values here. So this will be in the blue channel. You can of course uh, make this, uh, put, put all these things in a different uh, order if you want this. So now this here is the green one. And then we have here of course the uh, red one. So, okay, okay. So that's okay. And now we add them together. Boop, boop, boop. So, so, oof. okay. And now we have uh, three of our channels in one texture. And then, um, let me see. Yeah. And then the last thing we use another channel copy because we have one. Uh, one thing left, channel copy, boof. And the target is the alpha channel and then we put the last thing here. Uh, source is this. So because we copied uh, this one here to C and here we will copy it into the alpha. So what we get is that in the alpha we have the version from, what is it? Um, one second. Up, direct, but it looks Wait, something is, something is a little bit weird to me. At least it appears that the up direction looked. Why is it so bright suddenly? Uh, direct reflect on. Uh, sorry, uh, up. Ah, uh, sorry. I, I look into the alpha. Okay, that's stupid. So, uh, up. Okay, this is the up uh, thing we want. This is the up thing we see here, and this should be the up thing which we see now in the alpha. Yeah. So, yeah, because we copied it there. So this is our final texture. Um, boop. Uh, here we have all these colors, and then we can, of course, use a ROB file output uh, and write this out. Uh, yeah, and that's it. And you can use that now in Unreal and uh, in the different channels you will have your different directions so yeah, that's really cool of course we have used four channels in this texture for just the directions now you really need to um, store the alpha of this texture the actual alpha which looks like this uh, into another texture um, which is okay because often I, I at least had it like that 
in my other texture I also stored um, values for my explosion because it was not just smoke it was also some fire so the other texture contained the emissive values as well plus the alpha and this one texture uh, contained only the light information for the smoke so I end up with two textures yes um, but the results you get are really really nice okay I hope you learned something thanks <laughs>